I was taken advantage of by a bike and it was all because I tried to be nice to an animal and not run it over like its owner told me to do. Why hello guys, it's me Maya, welcome to my channel. I have a story I've been debating on whether or not to share it for a long time because it's probably my most embarrassing story. When I was a little girl, I had a friend that I used to hang out with all the time. We were just outside like all day, every day playing. And she had this dog that wherever she went, the dog was sure to go. This dog was one of these dogs that always had to get in the way of anything that was moving, whether it be a horse, a bike, or a four-wheeler. I always got in the way. And it was frustrating because I stop and I wait and I shoo him away and then I go. Like I'm not someone that's like, Oh well! I couldn't do that. It freaks me out too much. We're riding bikes one day and this dog keeps getting in the way of my bike. I go down the hill, I get stopped while I'm going down the hill because this dog keeps going my way. I try to get the dog out of the way, finish going down, and then I'll turn around and so forth. Like every time this dog would get in my way. For whatever reason it just was like, what are you gonna do girl? Hit me? I know that I'm a pansy. So are you purposely doing this because you know and you just want to be like, I'm superior? Yeah, I'm the alpha, honey. That's what this dog is doing to me. I let it be the alpha because I was too nervous. This friend just says, stop stopping for the dog. If she's not going to get out of the way, just run her over. But trust me, she'll move out of the way. Don't even worry about it. Okay, I'm going to go and if the dog gets in my way, I'm just going to let it go. Whatever. And so I'm riding the bike. I'm going pretty fast. And this dog gets in my way. I'm just going to keep on and the dog will move out of the way. Hopefully. Now I'm like this close to the dog. Okay, dog's gonna stop, right? Now we're this close. Dog has still not moved. And so I slam on my brakes, the bike flips over, and I land smack on the front of it. Things get shoved in areas they should never get shoved in. I start to scream because I'm in so much pain. I'm angry at the dog because I'm like, what a stupid dog going in my way? And then I'm mad at my friend because they were like, just don't even worry, the dog will move out of the way. And the dog was not moving out of the way, holding myself like, <laughs> I have lost my virginity to a freaking bike. That sucks. And I was just so angry. So I was like, I'm going home. And I went home and just so much freaking pain. It was so painful. Go into the bathroom and we didn't have full body mirrors. So it wasn't like you could just bend up and look or lift your leg and look. I had to get on top of my sink. Is everything okay? And it was swollen and black and blue. Would check it every day to make sure it was getting better. Does it look better? If I sat down, it was like, oh my gosh. Walked with my legs too close together. It was, oh my gosh. Constantly in pain because I was taken advantage of by a freaking bike because this dog wouldn't move out of the way. Yeah, for a good week, maybe even more, I was all bruised up and swollen and it just didn't look pretty. And since that day, I've not ridden a bike. This brings back too many memories. So that is my story of riding a bike. My embarrassing bike accident. It was not fun. Have you guys ever had anything like embarrassing like that happen? Because that was mortifying. My life is tough for a couple days there. Now that that's off my chest, I guess I don't have anything else really to be embarrassed by. I've shared so many stuff that I probably shouldn't share, but I am. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And if you want, like, share, or subscribe, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Bye, guys. animal. I was nice to the animal. And what did I get for it? A bruised vagina.